What's up everyone? How's it going today? If you're new to the channel, I'd like to just start by saying welcome and if you're not new, you've been a subscriber for a while, then you've probably noticed that lately I've been doing a few more shorts about Japanese food. Now for this video, I want to continue the food related discussion by talking about one of my favorite things, protein. More specifically, I want to start doing a video series where I review different brands of Japanese protein. And I decided to start it off with the most famous, Savas. Now, a little side note. I used to think that this clearly backwards S was a Z. So I always pronounce this brand Zavas, not Savas. So maybe just to save you a little bit of embarrassment in the future. There you go. All right, now for this review, I'm going to be taking a look at four main factors. Number one, the macros. Number two, the taste. And number three, the total price slash price per serving. And lastly, the price per one gram of protein. And if that sounds good to you, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the macros. And so in one serving of Zawas protein powder, you get 20 grams of protein with 1.7 grams of fat and lastly 3.1 grams of carbs for 108 calories total. Now I'd be remiss not to mention that in assuming my Japanese is correct, which I'm about 95% sure it is. Bruh. This is whey protein concentrate since it is only 75% whey protein with the remaining part being, you know, carbs and fats. And now back to the protein content, 20 grams of protein is a bit on the low end. There are a lot of protein powders that are closer to 25, 27 grams of protein. So you're definitely not getting as much protein in this. And the case is, in, the case, yeah, the case is also pretty small, not gonna lie. You only get 10 servings in this because one serving is 28 grams of protein powder and there's 280 grams of protein total protein powder in this which comes out to 10 servings that said this tastes great it is exactly like drinking chocolate milk even if I just mix it with water and it also tastes great in oatmeal now I only bring that up because I eat a lot of protein oatmeal because I usually do that as my pre-workout meal because it's something I can do really quick in the morning before I go to the gym. And now I mentioned that you get 10 grams, wait no, not 10 grams, 10 servings in this little container. And this little container, believe it or not, cost me 2,700 yen or about 24, $25. So that comes out to 270 yen per serving. The last part of my review that will really be make or break on whether or not I would recommend this Zabas protein is the cost per one gram of protein. Now when I came out, it when I came out, <laughs> when I did the math, it came out to be 13 yen per one gram of protein. Now for reference, the chicken breast I bought Earlier today, when I did the math on that, I got about 3.5 yen per gram of protein. So this was about four times the price for one gram of protein. And then even when I compared it to, say, the big, big bag of whey protein from my protein, this actually came out to about 4.4 grams or yen per one gram of protein. So all in all, would I recommend Zavas whey protein powder? Well, 
In terms of taste, I would. But if you're looking for the most cost effective op cost effective option that will get you the most bang for your buck or most bang for your yen, I guess, since I'm in Japan, then I would actually not recommend this, even though you will see it everywhere. But like all things, it is at the end of the day completely up to you. I am just some guy on YouTube telling you what I think of Japanese protein powders. All right. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.